Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World and welcome to my let's play of X Rebirth. So I thought I would do a couple of missions basically to pass the time until we finish our energy array. So in the mom at the moment I have um, 52 million because I did a couple of these defense missions. And now the energy array has just finished as you can see here it is. And there's still our construction vessel. Um, it will look a little bit more shabby because it's been using many of its parts for the energy array. As you can see here, it looks kind of disintegrated, but there are still a couple of parts we can build and that's what the uh, construction vessel will still be useful for. We can still extend this station with more parts if we want, and that is something that we definitely might want to do. So let's have a look at the station. Um, why is that? That's not part of our station, is it? 73 kilometers now. Okay, good. Um, that's for a mission. All right, so we have our energy relay. What do we do with it? We look at it first and we can see that it is producing energy cells. It has two uh, energy cell fab uh, fabrication units and uh, in four minutes the first batch will be done. Um, it can store a certain amount and we can increase the efficiency by also using uh, food rations but we don't have access to those. So what do we do with this? First of all let's have a look at the manager. So I have the mod that immediately populates my stations with um, the crew because you could also do that manually normally but then you have to go into those stations and do those silly talking mini games which is a bit annoying so i have this mod that automatically adds them to it so let's talk to the manager or let's see what the manager is doing he's doing free trading um it has no current budget because it doesn't need to buy anything um, we are not restricting trade to other factions. We should manage to trade off a price though, so let's have a look. We're currently selling all the energy cells for 8 credits. Now, if we have a look... Um, any, so this one here is in the same zone, also in Solanus Triumph. So if we filter this on distance, we can see that energy cells are basically sold for around 5 credits. So I'm not sure if we can also see what they're bought for. And they're bought for way less. That's not necessarily good for us. Why are they suddenly so cheap? If we go to the... In this one here, the economy statistics, we go to energy, energy sales, they're buying energy cells for a certain amount of credits that we can't actually really see. The trade offer amounts is fairly stable. Unfortunately, here <laughs> we'd have no idea what it's um, what it's doing. But let's uh, try to undercut a little bit. Let's uh, let's start by doing. Uh, where was it? Trade-off of prices and let's set it to something like five. Maybe even four. Then we are fairly cheap and maybe people want to um, use us for uh, getting their energy cells. Now what we can also do is we can actively sell energy cells. But for that we need to have a... Um, what's this Baylor doing in all smoking? Well, they're all active though. Not sure where that smoke came from. Um, yeah, so we can actively sell our energy cells as well. In order to do that, I have to I have this Gigram energy here, and I can say that it should go somewhere else. It should be assigned to this energy array. And then trade for production. So not trade for building, it doesn't need to build anything, it doesn't need to protect it, so we need to uh, trade for it like to actually make money so now the gigarim is assigned to the station and then it can start trading the only problem is that um currently the range is only in the sector if we want to extend that we need to build a command relay in order to do system-wide operations and then they can basically do it all through home of light um, 
here you go so they can go here 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 and there in order to figure out where to buy energy cells or sell energy cells so here we can see that they're normally bought for around three and sold for around six so we can't do that here right no because they're not um they're not being sold in this system they're only being bought unfortunately we can't see the price yet but i assume once we have made our first batch of energy cells that's put on the market then we should be able to see what the price is so um if we go again here and now we actually have energy cells we have produced our first batch we have 3116 in there And we are selling them for four, as we said, right? So let us look now in the proper sector-wide economy statistics. There we go. So they are sold for four and they're bought for about three. They are bought a lot, um, but not sold so many because we are the only people that sell. And the storage levels are right there. So maybe we should actually set a little bit lower but i'm not sure if it's really necessary because we also have that gigaram that will then trade just for three so we'll just have to see what um what happens whether it actually kind of is making a profit or not oh well it will i guess always make a profit because i don't think it costs us anything to have it but whether it's being efficient or not so then do we want to build a radar relay because that would mean that we can sell our energy cells further away uh, i'm not entirely sure if it's super necessary um we can go here i guess we can go to the upkeep missions we could extend it with a radar relay in order to extend our range but i think it's probably fairly expensive let's have a look At least now our construction vessel has way many more construction drones that we gave it to it. Uh, it now has 10, so it should take way less, which would be nice. So let us talk to... What does this do? Okay, so it increases the efficiency of um, of our building. What do Tesla dual chargers do? They are better for storage. All right, so we can improve the, in, improve the storage of our thing. We can then add basically another whole e cell fab. But we can also do this command relay. And if we do that, of course we want to have enough defense that it doesn't get killed. Then we would spend three million. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we need some energy cells, some stuff. Here are these turrets. That's good enough. So now, I'm not sure if we can already see it. I think we should be able to. Yes, here we go. This is kind of the where they will start making the radar relay. So once we have that, then we can trade much further. Ooh, look at this one here. An architectural freighter. It's actually docking at the energy array. So I'm s assuming it wants to buy our energy cells. What about this guy here? Also trading with energy array. So it seems like that is going quite well. Can we see it docking or? So we don't have any cargo lifters on our building, so we could supply it with it, but I assume all of these normally have cargo lifters with them. So if we go to units, yeah, it has cargo lifters with it, so I, I'm not sure if we would really need them. Also trading with the energy array here, so we are wanted here. 
Not sure if they now got stuck or what are they doing. I don't know. I thought I was afraid they were going to get stuck here. Yeah, so I already recorded this episode a little bit and then I made the radar relay and um, I just completely got stuck inside and had to re-record. So. Shouldn't we see drones now trading if you're going to do that? Uh, they're both searching for trades. Maybe we don't have any anymore. Maybe they already bought all of them. Now well, we still have some in stock. So they should be able to trade. Trading with TR Energy Array. <laughs> it's a bit damaged. And it's jumping. That's a different energy array. So maybe they don't want to trade with us anymore for whatever reason. Oh well, for now it's fine. In any case, um, my thing now is I don't really want to be here in Home of Light. I really don't like this district because it has these um, these highways that only go in one way. So what I was thinking, we could go to Albion, for example, and then look what we want to build there. So we can go to... Yeah, Albion would be nice, right? So we just make a plot to there. So now, while we are flying to different places... Oh, yeah, I have to do the highway now, now that I know how they work. So I can't just sit back and look at trades. And even when I know how it works, I am terrible at actually flying in them. Uh, I guess I could do it automatically, right? Um, and then I can probably look at other things. Uh, system, galaxy... Albion system. No, I don't. Uh. Oh no, so we can't do automatic guidance. Okay, fair enough. I thought that would be possible. Mm. Wonder if there's a mod where you can just turn that off. I guess this might also be like a really bit busy region anyway.
Cold Star. Potentially we could do something cool there. Because there's all these asteroids to be mined. So if we take something that needs the input of that, like uh, needs ore, and then build a station that can use it. But Albion is so pretty. So I still think I will start in Albion. Can't show it in the sector, it seems. Mm. Ah, there it is. So soon it should have something in its storage because now it's flying towards the energy array here. Look at all these gigrams here. They want to trade with us. This one wants to trade. This one wants to trade. And this one's searching for trading. <laughs> That's amazing. It's just a huge... Okay, this one is actually trading according to this. So in like 10 minutes or something, I guess we can look at how it's going like because if he sells something um then we should find that back in his oh here he already sold for twenty four thousand worth the only problem is i haven't been able to find a log for that so if you go to logbook then we don't actually see that they've traded which is a bit of a shame i wish there was like some separate logbook where we could show um that kind of trading what we can do though is we can go to um we can go to home of lights and then we can go to silence triumph we look at the economy of energy cells and we can see that our offers here went down a little bit so unfortunately because these here are so high ours doesn't really show up that much what we can do though just to illustrate it is we can go here and we can go to energy array we can go here to economy statistics And then we can see here that we had so much, then we sold a bit, and then we made more. And our storage levels went down. And that's about it. All right, we are in Albion. Except I've been flying in a random direction, so I guess <laughs> now it's time to fly back. Uh, here we go. It's hanging a little bit. Wait, where did we go? Uh, I want to go, I guess, to Ascendancy. Just because it looks pretty and I like to hang out in pretty regions. We're going to spend a lot of time there anyway. Yeah, these highways seem to be a little bit less populated than the ones in Home of Light. 
which is really nice for me. Now it has zero in its storage, so I assume that it has 24,000. Didn't it already have 24,000? What about the Gigram? And almost in ascendancy. And then we'll have a look at the Gigram. So unless the others stole all the energy cells away from it. All right. I thought this was going to be the pretty region, but apparently it's not. Anyway, um, so we can look at the property owned. Uh, the Gigarum here is still trading with the energy array. It's going away though. Searching for trades. Fair enough. Probably because I don't have any at the moment. So what I could do is I could tell him that we are now going to increase our prices by two. That should reduce demand a little bit and give our Gigram some time to look for trades, hopefully. But we'll have a look how it goes. All right, so let's have a look at the economy. The economy of ascendancy. Well, energy cells are bought a lot, um, but I'm sure they're probably also going to be Produced somewhere, yes, they are. They're produced and they're sold for seven actually. So I'm assuming basically everything is kind of produced when I look at it at a complete, um, like for entire Albion. Um, Oh, this is interesting. They were bought for a while and now no one wants them anymore. Very sporadic. Aha, here are medical supplies. They are only bought. And where exactly are they bought? If we go to, for example, Ascendancy. We can see that medical supplies are indeed bought in increasing amounts. Can we build a medical supply thing? And if so, what does it cost us? So we can go to the encyclopedia. Um, I'm assuming these produce that. Medical supplies. Yes. And what do they need? Uh, 
Um, Aha, uh -huh, they're also illegal. But we could probably get a license for it. It's not that expensive. Pharmaceutical license. Perfect. And well, these actually don't cost that much. What does this do? Hmm. Uh, we can't do that anyway yet. Um, Cool, so now we can basically trade everything in Albion. That's good. So then we just need to still have a look at stations. Pro Is it on production module maybe? Six million total price. And the question is which ship can make it because there's already some different production ships, construction vessels. So I have the Albion and the Home of Light one. So can the Home of Light one do it? And mm, med dispensary, yes. And can the Albion one do it? Mm, med dispensary yes they can all right so let us try to buy a construction vessel for that so for that we need to find a shipyard uh oh this one um shift ships Is this capital capital ships i would like to buy a construction vessel um, I'm never sure whether they really need it, but it's also not terribly expensive. Okay, yes, you definitely need construction ones, definitely, maybe even like 20. Um, Cargo lifter, can use a couple of those. And that's fine. Cost us five million to build this construction vessel. So as soon as that is done, then it's gonna be nice so uh, let's have a look we are this one now has the command to dock at energy array one where are you you already docked or ah it's you over there now you're gone yeah now it came out Now it's trading with construction vessel. Aha, nice. <laughs> so the construction vessel here set a buying thing for energy cells because it needed energy cells in order to make the radar relay. And now the our energy thing is actually trading for it. That's pretty cool. Still 24,000. Because now I guess no one really wants it anymore. But we'll just have to give it some time uh, once uh, this one here doesn't need any 
energy cells anymore. Uh, I'm not sure whether we can show what it still needs. No, I guess it's already... Still needed, 604. I'm very confused now. Why did this one not... Um, have any energy cells to trade something seems to be a bit weird Ship complete, sir. yay where is our construction vessel here we go We join my squad, otherwise we can't see those building things. And now the question is, where should we build it? So here, for example, is a building spot. Um, the problem is I'm still not entirely sure what it really needs. So maybe medical supplies. Yeah, it doesn't say it. Narcotics lab. Production narcotics. Pharma platform. Yeah, unfortunately no uh, no explanation here. So I guess we'll just have to kind of guess then, unless I'm missing something. It's already here. That's nice. Awesome. So now the construction vessel should start building our medical dispensary. And I wonder how long it will take. In the meantime, before we put this episode to a close, I still want to have a look again at this. It says it's trading with the energy array. This says we have quite a lot of stock already. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. You have 2,500 in storage. And in nine minutes, we make another batch. And now we have 5,000 in storage. I 
I already gave it a trade ship. Okay, it sold a little bit more. It had 2,800 before. Unless it's because maybe this is all going wrong because it doesn't have cargo lifters. So I have to change the budget, so I'm, I'm giving it about a million more. Then it can buy itself some cargo drones. One thing that I wonder about though is that they could also use um, the... food rations. So I hope it doesn't buy those automatically because I don't want it to, but I can't really find any options on actually doing that. Maybe then you just need to supply it with a specific ship that can buy them, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, something seems to be a bit weird, doesn't it? It's clear that I haven't figured it out completely yet. In any case, I was thinking whether I should board this or not. But in any case, I'll put the episode to a close because I've been playing for um, 40 minutes already almost. So uh, yeah, I'll have a little bit more of a look at uh, what, if I'm missing something, uh, if there's other people that have the same problems uh, on the forums. Um, but maybe it's just a matter of time and I'm being too impatient. But in any case, I hope you had fun and see you next time.